Hey everyone, welcome to Homemade with Coles. I'm Courtney Ralston and today we are in for an absolute treat. I'm gonna show you how to make an apple crumble cake with a burnt butter caramel. So the first thing we need to do is to get onto the cake batter. So I've got 200 grams of softened butter that's gonna go into our mixer. And in with the butter, half a cup of caster sugar, half a cup of brown sugar. I've got half a teaspoon of ground ginger. We also need the zest of a lemon. Beautiful combination, lemon, ginger, apples, and caramel. All we need to do is beat this until it's beautiful, pale, and creamy, and thick enough. So we've got three free range eggs, and I'm just gonna crack these in one at a time so we don't split our cake batter. All right, just scrape down the sides of the mixture. I'm now going in with a pinch of sea salt. I've got two cups of plain flour that can go in and give this a real gentle mix through. I'm also putting in two thirds of a cup of almond meal, but you could use hazelnut meal if you have that at home. That can go in. The one cup of buttermilk goes in. We need some baking powder just to give a rise to our cake. So about two and a half teaspoons. Now for our apple crumble cake, we obviously need some apples. So I've got some beautiful pink lady apples here. So two apples are going on the top and two apples are going into the cake grated. So just pop this in. So that's everything for our cake batter. And I'm just gonna very gently fold the apple and the buttermilk through the rest of the ingredients. And now all we need to do is just pour this batter into our prepared cake tin. We're just gonna get some beautiful thin slices of apple for the top of the cake by running it through the mandolin. Careful of your fingers. That's how they do it in the magazines, to get the apples beautiful and thin. Look at that, that's one apple. All we need to do now is to place these in the center of our cake batter. And we want them overlapping and we'll go another layer in the center. So I've got some melted butter here and I'm just gonna add in a little dash of caster sugar. So give them a little lick of butter and sugar just to give them a nice shine. So I have here a quarter of a cup of plain flour two tablespoons of brown sugar, and about 25 grams of butter. A little pinch of sea salt will go in, and using clean fingertips, I'm just going to work this mixture. It's a really small batch of crumble. I've got about 20 grams of chopped hazelnuts. Just mix them through. Okay, now all we need to do is put that crumble mixture onto that outside kind of moat that we've left without any apples. My oven is set at 170 degrees. This will take anywhere between 50 minutes and an hour. As always, test it with a skewer and when the skewer comes out clean, you'll know it's cooked. So into the oven we go. All right, I'm gonna make the burnt butter caramel now. So I've got 60 grams of butter and I want to bring this butter up to the point where it's bubbling and becomes golden and brown. Two thirds of a cup of brown sugar can go in with our brown butter. I'm also going to go in with a pinch of salt. Give that a stir. I've got a beautiful, thick, rich cream here. That's around 200 mils. Because we've got them beautiful pink lady apples in our cake, we're gonna put some apple juice in the caramel just to tie everything in together. And we need half a cup to go into the caramel. And let it cook down for around five or six minutes until it becomes beautiful and glossy and thick. All right, look at this cake. Take off our paper. And saucers are made for drizzling, so I'm just gonna put a little bit over the top of the cake now while it's still warm. I think a celebration cake should always have a little dusting of icing sugar. All right, look at that, so moist. I've never met a cake I didn't like, but this one seriously looks like it is next level. I have just got to tuck into this cake. Mm. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of ginger, and a whole lot of that burnt butter caramel sauce. That is one fantastic cake.